Safety data from one GuardLogix controller can be sent to another GuardLogix controller using a produce and consume SIP safety network connection. This video will show the steps to set up and configure a safety produce and consume connection. In this example, a GuardLogix system with an emergency stop input exists on a machine. A new machine section with a compact GuardLogix and a PowerFlex 755 drive are going to be added. The new system is required to monitor and react to the existing emergency stop push button. A simple way to share safety data between controllers is to produce and consume safety tags. A user-defined data type for the produce consume connection must be created. The user-defined data type will be named UDT underscore safety produce consume. The first member of the UDT must be data type connection status, which contains run mode and connection faulted. The UDT has a maximum size of 128 bytes. Here, the UDT is fully loaded with five double integers for Booleans, 16 double integers for integers, and 10 reals. Create a new controller scope tag P underscore safety produce consume. Select type equal to produced. Under connections, set max consumers to one. Up to 15 consumers are allowed. Enter data type UDT underscore safety produce consume. Set class equal to safety and click create. A programming best practice is to create an output routine for safety produced data. The routine O50 underscore produced is added and called by the main routine. In the O50 underscore produced routine, add the data to be produced. In this case, the status of the emergency stop. E stop OK. Attention must be given to sending status where zero equals the safe state. During loss of network connection, all consumed inputs will be zero. The zero value must control the machine to the safe state. The configuration for the producing controller is now complete. Now let's configure the consuming safety connection. Add the producing controller to the I.O. configuration of the consuming controller. You must know the producer's catalog number, provide a name for the producer, IP address, and safety network number. The producer's safety network number is found in the producer controller properties under the safety tab. The 1756L84ES has two safety network numbers. The first is for backplane communication, and the second is for the front Ethernet port. Our project is communicating out the front Ethernet port, so the second safety number is copied. Returning to the consuming project, the copied safety network number is pasted into the new module properties. Copy the produce consume user defined data type from the producer controller. Then paste the data type into the consumer controller. Create a controller scope tag with data type UDT underscore safety produce consume. An easy way is to copy the already created produce tag from the producing controller. Then paste that tag into the consumer controller tags. Now edit tag properties. Change the P to a C to indicate consumed. Change the type to consumed. Edit the tag connection to producer PAC01 
and enter the remote data tag, P underscore safety produce consume. The consuming connection RPI must match the safety task of the producer. Change the RPI in the safety tab if necessary. A programming best practice is to create an input routine for safety consumed data. For ease of programming, the routine O50 underscore produced is copied from the producer. Renamed I00 consumed. and called by the main routine. In the I00 consumed routine, the outputs and inputs are inverted from the producing routine. Naming P underscore to C underscore and creating new tags as appropriate. Place the consumed eStop OK bit in the safety logic routine. Download programs and test. Verify the eStop OK in the consuming controller goes off when the e-stop is pressed. Break the ethernet connection between controllers. Validate that the consumed e-stop OK goes off and both run mode and connection faulted transition properly. The system is now functioning with a produce consume connection between the guard logics and the compact guard logics controller. Let's review the emergency stop safety reliability block diagram for the combined system. The emergency stop and safety inputs have a PLE rating, but the single guard logics 1756 L84ES controller is rated at PLD. The new compact guard logic system uses a PLE rated compact guard logics controller, and the PowerFlex 755 has a PLE rated motion monitoring and safe torque off. The PLD controller producing the e-stop signal will limit the overall safety function to PLD. If PLE were required, a safety partner would need to be added to the 1756 L84ES guard logics. An additional consideration is safety reaction time. A produce consume connection adds an additional controller and a communication connection between the controllers. The amount of the reaction time increase is dependent on the hardware, system configuration, programming techniques, and network reliability. For this configuration, the safety produce consume connection added 53 milliseconds to the calculated single fault reaction time, an increase of about 50% from a single controller system. If the additional reaction time added by the produce consume connection exceeds the safety functional specification, the application may require using hardwired inputs or an input only connection. Designing for optimum safety reaction is a topic for another video. That concludes today's lesson on safety, produce, and consume.